dead air. Here we go. Actually, uh, isang dream ko na rin to nung simula na ano. Nung bata ako, sa pagigising dalo kasi, you can be everybody. You can be a doctor, you can be a teacher, uh, you can be an engineer. Kung ano yung makita mo sa area, kung paano matutulungan tao, pwede mong i-apply. Everybody shoot me clear! Shoot clear! Clear, 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 sir! Clear, sir! Hindi mga natatakot kasi nga, yun na yung sinumpaan namin yung trabaho eh. Kung baga, happy na ako na yung ano eh, yung nakaka, nakakatulog. Kung baga sinasabi nga nung girlfriend ko na may misaya ni complex daw ako eh. Pero sabi ko, at least, tanggap niya naman yung pagiging sundalo ko. Kasi nga sabi ko, before was, sundalo na ako nung nakilala niya ako. And oh, mas alam niya na uunahin ko talaga yung trabaho ko. Kaysa sa uh, ano. Fighters, insert, bagasin. Load and lock. Fire on the right. Are you ready? Ready, sir. On the left. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Range is ready. Range is hot. Fire when ready. Nasa Barangay Andam na talaga kami ng 03 December. Binigyan kami ng warning order na be prepared for disaster uh, relief and rescue operations. So nandun na nag na yung mga tao doon, rumbling na yung ground. Then all communications bagsak na eh. Rushing na yung ano, baha. baha. Nakaya niya ng buhatin yung ano eh, yung sakyan namin. Nag-decide ako na tumalon doon sa baha din. Wala na rin yung takot eh kasi responsibility ko yung mga civilian din doon eh. Yung basketball court then may stage. So nandun kami sa stage, baha lahat. Lahat ng tao nun, sir, anong gagawin natin? Saan tayo pupunta? Pero after a few waves na ano, bumagsak na rin yung stage na tinututungan namin. Eh. Hiwahiwalay na talaga kami lahat. Naipit na yung paka doon sa mga lags. Eh. Then nakita ko nasa likod, si PFC Hingosa. Ang tawag na lang kasi namin sa kanya is si Langga eh. Sabi ko sa kanya is, Langga, tulungan mo ako. Pero medyo wala na rin siyang lakas. Yung swerte ko na lang rin, nag-wave uli. Plus yung siguro adrenaline rush ko na rin siguro. Nagawa kong itulak yung isang ano eh, yung ano ng nyug talaga. After nung wave na lumampas, nakita ko na si PFC Hingosa. Nasa kabilang side ko na siya. Then ako, nakahiga na ako sa ano. Do sa lag. Sabi ko, Langga, sakay ka dito muna. Iabot mo lang sa akin yung kamay mo. So, hindi ko pa rin siya binitawan. Pero, yun nga, nagsabi na rin siya na, Sir, wala na akong lakas. Wala na rin akong lakas na hilahin talaga siya ng ano eh. Nung sumunod na wave, nabitawan ko na rin siya. mga nawala ako na tropa, Staff Sergeant Olivares, Per Sergeant ko, PFC Ngosa, PFC Sigapo, Sergeant ko na yas, yung radio operator ko, Private Aranyes, Private Armoja. Siyempre, as company commander nga is, sakit mawalan talaga ng tao. Kasi, Yung nga, pamilya na kami doon eh. Tsaka... Kumbaga sa... Kumbaga sa barkada rin, walang iwanan talaga. Ang plano namin ngayon, ipagpatuloy pa rin yung nasimula namin. Tumatawag sa akin yung tropa ko na nandun. Kasi may balita nga doon na baka ilipat kami. Sila mismo yung nagsasabi na, Sir, babalikan natin yung area. Kami pa rin daw yung magbabangon ng New Bataan kasi yun yung ano namin, nasimula namin doon.
the G. The geohazard map would have shown that that wasn't a safe place to bring evacuees, but the information never got to the decision makers. This is a time for, it calls for new heroes because there are gaps in the information flow and people can now fill in those areas. Uh, those heroes are among us and one you just saw, Lieutenant Alan Diazetta. Please, let's give him a round of applause. He flew in to tell you about what he's gone through, but mostly, sir, ano ho yung natutunan nyo dito? Ano hong dapat po namin gawin? Uh, sa nangyari nga sa amin. So, although masakit nga yung mawala ng ano, pero hindi dapat tayo doon po magsak eh. Doon din tayo bumangon, which is ang lesson nga din doon is not one agency or not only one organization can handle yung mga changes. Sabi nga natin is climate, yung climate change is worldwide siya. So we shouldn't think na as individual or as one organization lang, kaya na natin. So lahat tayo dapat magtulungan. So kagaya nga nung sabi ko dati namin napapag-usapan nung wife ko na ngayon na as Filipino... <laughs> Uh, so, ang isa namin na papag-usapan is, ano ba yung identity natin talaga as Pilipino? We have, sabi ko na example ko pa sa kanya is yung bakit walang durian ice cream. Masya, wala ko dati na rin na durian ice cream. But, pero mas na, i, i, ang na-example ko talaga is yung halo-halo. Ang halo-halo is uh, talagang dessert natin na masarap. <laughs> Di ba? But thinking na ang nandoon kasi is hal yung halo-halo nga ng iba't ibang klaseng ingredients. Kung may isa doon ingredients na hindi masarap, the whole halo-halo is hindi masarap. So kagaya ng kailangan nating gawin, dapat lahat tayo magtulungan. Yung commitment and willingness natin. Adat miralo na handa tayong tumulong is inap na para maging hero ang bawat isa. So, hindi lang... So, we really don't need na mag-sacrifice ng buhay. Kasi, sabi nga sa mga presentation kanina, being prepared is much better than uh, yung mag-rescue -re ka na. Kasi once na mag-rescue ka, istalo ka na doon, meron ka ng losses ka agad. So, Sa tulong ng, ng social media nga ng lahat na maging mai-propagate natin tong project na, rin, na ito is we could save mo, uh, much more lives na napaalam na natin sa kala ano ba yung effect ng climate climate change ano ba yung ano ba pwedeng nilang gawin kasi usually nakikita namin sa field is uh, marami pa ring tao ang uneducated sa mga gantong uh, pangyayari. So, I'm hoping siguro sa commitment ng lahat, willingness and yung sabi nga natin, yung puso na tumulong sa kapwa natin. So, yun lang siguro yung mahiling ko sa lahat. And maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Please let me call up uh, our partners. Um, Secretary Sering, you must join us. UNDP, Toshi, uh, Google, please, Ryan uh, or Gail, who 
we'd just like to come up and uh, and come talk about what are our next steps, right? Uh, what is the, it, there's a lot of work to be done to make it actually save lives. And that requires all of us. So let me pass the mic on. Let me ask you to pull out your phone yet again. There is a unity statement that was initially an idea of UNDP, which we all loved. And we hope that you can say it with us and hopefully follow it up with action. One small step for each of us will lead to a huge change. And I will hand this, you will hear it with a Japanese accent. Our unity statement, please. Oh, no, we, we, we do it together. Okay. Yes, all together. Bisaya accent. Bisaya accent. Ah, okay, tayo lahat. Sige, let's go. Please say it with us. Today, we imagine and create the world we want in 2030. As leaders around the world explore how technology can be used for social good, we zero in on one of the most pressing issues we face. It can't be business as usual. We need to do more. It's time for the government, civil society, private sector, and citizens to collaborate on tangible solutions that will build communities that can withstand disasters. Climate, climate change, change adaptation, adaptation and disaster preparedness, preparedness response, response and rehabilitation are our shared responsibilities as stewards of the next generation. generation. Through digital innovation, innovation education, education, and the Bayaniman spirit, we will harness technology and the collective power of our social networks to promote a culture of safety and resilience. We will we unite our initiatives under Project Agos with the goal to develop a common information portal that bridges all stakeholders in disaster risk reduction and management. Let me ask you now, take out your phone. Let me find my phone. On screen, you will see one message. And again, it's so Globe and Smart are here. Hopefully, our, our, all of our, our partners who are here. Um, let's get the message. You have it, Josh? There you go. There you go, Maria. I'm stepping up to be a hero. Hala, it's your own personal pledge now. Kaya nyo ba? I'm stepping up to be a hero. Actually, really, it's very doable. We did it in hashtag million people march when we were angry. Can we do it when we're not, right? Hashtag 2030 now. I'm stepping up to be a hero. Please type it in. And on the screen, before we do that on the other screen, can we show what we look like from God's eye view. Watch your message ripple through this, right? So type it in, hashtag 2030 now. And tweet. And there you go. It's, we're emanating from this room and the algorithms are picking it up to actually show the push as you get retweeted going out, it stops. Ito yung dapat natin gawin when it stops. And this is what happens in the real world, right? Because there are these natural boundaries of our social networks. It means that we need to get someone else from another social network to expand the message. It's the ripple of that message that pushes it out. So it's a symbolic statement. There's a lot of work to be done. These men and women, Alex puts his life on the line for it. Uh, we all, I don't know about you, I get scared when it rains now. Oh no, I don't get scared, I'm a journalist, so. Um, it's just the beginning. We have a whole year to go. Hopefully at this time next year, we'll show what a group of determined, 
purposeful people can do together with government, with private sector partners, and with all those people on social media, yung maingay na tao na nandun. Um, let me bring you back to KC and Patricia. Thank you, everyone. And congratulations you, to Lieutenant Gizetta on his uh, recent nuptials.